Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be showing you guys how I get my smooth, texture-free, matte, flawless foundation. I realized that the overall appearance of my foundation has really, really improved. And so I figured that it was time to give you guys an updated flawless foundation routine. The first thing I like to work on is my base. Your base is the most important part when it comes to having a smooth, flawless foundation. Of course, that comes from a good skincare routine, but there are also some other products you guys can use to help create that like flawless and smooth, texture-free base. I'm first grabbing my Bearcat Daily Facial Serum, and this has a CBD extract in it. It also has a few other plant extracts and oils in it that help rejuvenate and revitalize and repair the skin. So what I like to do is just take the dropper, and then I put a few drops in the center of my hand like this. And then I just kind of rub my fingers in it and apply it all over the skin. This product is super lightweight, which is why I like applying it right before my makeup. For me, it has been a really nice plumping agent for the skin. My dark spots and scarring have really, I wouldn't say have caused my skin to age, but it doesn't look as youthful as it used to in comparison to some of my older videos. So I really do love putting this product under my makeup because it just brings my skin back to life. I highly recommend that you guys check out this face serum. It has been life changing for me. I do have a link down below to take you straight to the Bearcat site. And I also have a coupon code, which is CAT15 to save you guys a few coins. Now that my skin is all nourished, it is time to actually get into the makeup portion of this video. So the first thing that I'm grabbing is my primer and today I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. If you guys have been with me for a while, you've seen me use this on my channel throughout the years. And that's one thing I do want to mention to you guys. Over the course of having this channel, my skin type has changed a few times. Currently. My skin is more of a normal type, but you guys know this time last year I was super oily, like Crisco oily. And then maybe a year before that, my skin was combination. And then before that, it was dry. So shout out to them hormones, right? But I have found that no matter how my skin is acting, this primer is it. It gives you like a really nice soft matte type of finish it doesn't dry you out if you're dry and it keeps your oils pretty tamed if you're oily i also like that it is a pore eraser so it does make a very smooth canvas for foundation application it's also once again incredibly lightweight i've said this before on my channel and i'll say it again I don't like feeling like I have something on my face when it comes to wearing makeup. I do know that sometimes certain products we use or certain looks that we want to achieve, like you have to kind of have that cake face feeling. But for me, like 99% of the time, I don't, 100% of the time, I really don't like feeling like that. So I always go for products that are lightweight on the skin. Next is my favorite part, which is foundation. I just feel like when you apply foundation to the face, it just transforms everything. Do you guys agree? So the foundation combination <laughs> that I've been using is the Maybelline, I'm sure you guys already know this, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And lately I've been mixing it with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, the finish of the natural matte that you get from the fit me add it in to the like super mega matte that you get from this can't stop won't stop it's just perfect so to blend this out i'm using a sigma curved kabuki brush this is the f83 i really don't have a preference when it comes to a certain foundation brush i just use anything that is kind of kabuki ish so anything that is flat in some capacity and dense i've just found that it gives me the best finish the most smooth and flawless finish if you guys have once again been with me for a while you know for years i only blended out my foundation with a beauty blender and i even remember having the thought that i would never ever go back to a brush because i just love the finish of a beauty blender but now that i've been going for a more full coverage and flawless type of finish a brush is it now it is time for concealer, which is my next favorite step because it just helps just shape out the face. I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just gonna dab 
a little bit right under my under eye. And then I'm just gonna start spreading it out. And I love, love, love this concealer. It just helps to keep everything smooth. Once again, it blends out beautifully. This shade is just like perfect for me to highlight with and I've just had an overall really good experience with it. So I have my um, beauty blender here. It is damp. So I'm going to take this and use it to blend out my concealer. I always start on my chin because I like to allow the under eye concealer to just sit on my face for a little bit. The longer it sits, the brighter it'll turn out and you'll get like a little more coverage as well. So I always blend it out in the areas first that I'm the least concerned about and then work my way to the more important areas. So before we go in and set that concealer, what I like to do next is contour. Lately, I have been contouring with my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the shade Truffle. It's just a really nice shade for my skin tone. I've been loving it. Then taking the booty part of the beauty blender, I'm just going to bounce that contour shade into the skin. And this is going to help us lose about five pounds, sisters. Of course, when you put on your foundation and your concealer, definitely transforms the skin, but so does a good contour. You know. So now it is time to set everything in place. For months, I've been using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder in the shade Cool Beige, and I'm not gonna change it up now. Definitely one of my favorite setting powders I've ever used. A little definitely goes a long way. It doesn't give you any crazy flashback, like you don't have to worry about that. And um, I just love it. It's a really beautiful translucent powder. So I'm just gonna go right over the areas where I use that concealer, and I just kinda like to press it in a bit and not necessarily bake with it but like a little bit like a half bake <laughs> the next step that i like to do is bronze this not only kind of helps set the area where we contour but it also helps to warm up the skin even more so today i will be bronzing with caramel cutie and i'm just going to take an angle brush and i'm just going to lightly sweep this upward and I'm placing it right above where I contour. And like I said, it's going to warm up the skin, but it is also going to snatch our face a tad bit more, which is what we want. <laughs> and bronzing is another one of my favorite steps. Actually, you know what? All of these steps are my favorite. Like, let me just say that. I'm going to take this powder brush and then dust away the powder setting powder that is on the bridge of my nose. Now we're gonna go back to our loose setting powder by Derma Blend and let me mix that around a bit and i'm going to take a little bit of this to clean up my contour so i'm going to go right under here and just kind of swipe the powder towards my mouth this is also going to just help chisel out the face even more and really make those cheekbones pop and literally dust this away immediately and i just like to go over the line we want it there but we don't want it like super noticeable. All right, and then the last step that I like to do is grab my Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Sometimes I do this step, sometimes I don't, but I'm doing it today because I was a little heavy handed with my contour and bronzing job. So I like to put this on the edge of it and this is just going to help smooth it out a bit more. This powder is also really good for that nice smoothing and softening effect make you look like you have a filter on the skin so far so good right so at this point if you like to wear blush you can go ahead and add your blush me personally i only wear blush like once a year so for my glow today i will be using the laura geller gilded honey i've used this a lot before on my channel i love this product it's just a great shade for my skin tone to apply this product i'm using a sigma f06 powder sweep brush And then if you want a little bit more of a glow to your skin, you can just apply a little bit on the center of your forehead and just lightly sweep it. 
you know, a little bit on the chin as well. So the last step is to set your makeup in face, in face, in place for me today and always, I always grab my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. If you need your makeup to stay in place all day and last all day, this is it. I went ahead and put on my lip color off camera and finished up my under eye and things like that. But this is pretty much my entire smooth, texture-free, matte, flawless face routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to check out that Bearcat Serum that I used at the beginning of this video. You and your skin will be thanking me later. Thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next one.